Hey there, welcome to Themes from the Therapy Room. I'm Lawrence Akers from Release Hypnosis here in Melbourne. And uh, the whole point of this short video series is to talk about common themes that exist within a therapy room. And by sharing them, maybe they might be of value to you as well. Now, in recent times, I have to say that addiction and, shall we say, destructive habitual behaviours have been one of the more common things that I've been asked to work with. Uh, particularly at the moment, a lot of men who seem to be addicted to adult entertainment is probably one of the key presenting issues that I'm getting time and time again. And with that, I tend to have um, a fairly structured way of working with addictions that relies upon a few different pillars that people need to be aware of and to be able to master in order to make their way through the addiction and to the other side to recovery and maintenance. And I thought it'd be worth talking a little bit about them today just to give you a bit of idea because particularly if you're dealing with some form of habitual behavior that may not be serving you, this video might be of value. So here we go. The first thing when people come and see me is I want to understand um, what it is that's going to help pull them away from the behavior. And I, this is just simply called the why. Why now? Why is it important to be able to step away from this behavior and to be free of it? Now, some of these things might be really obvious. However, if you look at it this way, there's a part of you that wants to continue doing that addiction or else you wouldn't be coming in to see a professional in order to help deal with it. But then there's another part of you that wants to be free of that particular behavior. And that part of you that wants to be free is the why. And we want to be able to build that because if the why isn't stronger than the part that wants to continue doing it, then you don't really stand terribly much chance. It's really about building that why so that it's a strong pull and being able to see through the trick of the other part that wants to keep you trapped and kept small from that particular behavior. Now, quite often when I ask people, when does this behavior happen? There's a lack of awareness around that. Uh, a lot of I don't knows. And so quite often a starting point is to build an awareness around the process of this particular this particular problem, this particular behavior. So when does it happen? What are you experiencing at the time? What are you feeling? Is it driven by um, a, an emotion? Is it driven by an environment that you're in? We want to be able to understand how this problem exists. Because being able to understand how this problem exists means that we can build a plan from that. We can understand when it's likely to happen and to Talk about what you'll do in those instances when it begins to come up. Because the reality is, particularly for certain types of behaviors, once you enter into doing that behavior, you're going to have a dopamine release and it's going to be so much harder for you to stop it. So we need to be able to create interventions that happen just as it starts to be aware or even before so that you're not falling into that trap. Another thing we want to build is mindset around I can. You know, Thomas Ford famously said, whether you think you can or if you think you can't, you're right. And we want to be able to tap into that to make sure that you're building an understanding that many people are able to get over their addictions and that you are more than capable of doing it too, no matter how challenging it might seem at the time. Once we've established that, we really begin to talk about strategies that you can use to help deal with the thoughts that might come up that are driving you towards that particular behavior, as well as dealing with the um, craves or the urges that might come up as well, and also strategies to deal with relapse, which may happen highly likely in a lot of cases when people are getting over addictive behaviors that they're likely to relapse. And so being able to deal with those as well before moving you into a maintenance part of that cycle. Now, it's important to also realize that some particular addictions and um, you know bad destructive habits, you know, you can't sometimes stop some of them immediately. There might be a, a physical reaction if you do. So it's important to make sure that you um, seek professional help with these. Uh, go and see a doctor, make sure that you're aware of what will happen when you step away from that particular problem behavior. Uh, but then once you've done that, you've got your clear, you can begin to build that path and that strategy forward. Well, then you can look forward to freedom on the other side and so much more option and choice. You know, I can't, I don't know who said it, but someone once said that addiction is giving up everything for one thing. And recovery is giving up that one thing in order to have everything back. 
And I think that's a really beautiful sentiment to be able to really grab hold of and recognize that while it might feel like that addictive behavior is offering you something of value, it's actually a trap. It's keeping you trapped. It's making you lose your family and friends. It's making you lose your self-worth and self-dignity. It's so much better on the other side. Hopefully this video has been of help to you to understand a little bit more about some of the things that you might need to consider in order to be free of that addiction. Uh, and if I can help in any way, then please feel free to drop me a line. Go to my website, www.releasehypnosis.com.au. You can book a free 30-minute no-obligation discovery call where we can chat about your particular problem and uh, if we might be able to help and go from there. In the meantime, take care.